welcome back to Huntington's Crafts, where our wings fly free just like our imagination. I got a yarn haul! And that's not all of it. I got three of these large bags of yarn to share with you, okay? I'm going to show you my goodies. It's okay. I don't need to pick it up, baby. I'm going to go this way. So. Uh, most of you know if you're in the U.S. and if you're not, maybe you seen through other um, YouTuber videos. Um, uh, Hobby Lobby had their, or is having their, um, sale. big sale that they have once a year. Um, most of the yarn is like really, really low price. Not even yarn. They have beads on sale, uh, jewelry pieces, uh, home decor, uh, fabrics like they have their huge sale where the whole store is on sale pretty much um, lots of different items so I got some yarny goodness and I didn't get to go today I was so upset thinking that I was going to actually miss the sale um, because I'm not feeling well and then Mr. Hoop he's been working like super super late lately and so I thought ugh, I'm gonna miss it and I was just like bummed but he got to go today and I'm so, so happy. Um, and he FaceTimed me because I'm still in a lot of pain. So he actually got to FaceTime me. So I'm going to share with you my goodies. I love Yarn B Authentic. I love all Yarn B. I love all Hobby, Hobby Lobby Yarn, to be honest with you. Um, uh, it definitely took the place, well, of AC Moore because we don't have AC Moore sadly. But, even if AC Moore was still here, I pre I'm pretty sure I would probably spend my majority of my time at Hobby Lobby just because of their different yarns they have. And I just love it. So anyway, I love the Yarn Bee Authentic Hand Dyed Yarn. This one is Chunky. And it is, um, the name of it is Floral Frenzy. Its original price was $14.99 and I paid $3.47 for it. It's 110 yards and it's super, uh, super bulky five. So here it is. Oh, I'm loving it. This is like coming out brighter, but this is like a darker pinks and blues, orange, has a uh, greens mixed into it. I love this right here. Like, oh, that I'm just like living for, but oh, I love it. I got two of these. So. I do have other bulky yarn and some of it is wool that I thought I could mix with it and make like a really pretty, I don't know if I want to make a top or like maybe a really pretty scarf set or something. I'm not sure, but I can't wait to use this. Oh, if you hear me grunting and moaning, I'm so very sorry. Um, and if you hear... <laughs> again, I'm really sorry. I think we're all coming down in the cold. It goes from like really, really hot to like really cold nights here. And I'm catching something and my body's still aching and my back pulled. You know, the, the same. <laughs> so, again, this is um, Yarn B Authentic Hand Dyed. This is Vivid. It is called Flamingos in Flight. Uh, they were $14.99 and they were on sale for $3.47. And this is 215 yards. And a light number three. Look how pretty. Give me one second. Alrighty, sorry. So, again, this is Flamingos and Flights. Oh, I'm just loving, loving, loving it. And I got one, two, three, and four. I want to make a really pretty top with this. And then... This one, they only have one of these, and it's um, the same information, but it is uh, Neon Watermelon. Oh. So, it's like right there. It's like a bright, neon-y pink. Then it has like orange and yellows in it. I'm trying to see. Let me put my hand up. There we go, a little bit for you. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, they're so soft. Special guest, for sure to run. Oh, oh, pick that up for me. Look at her, not because that's her floor, because she was a go. Look at this show butt. Look at Bill Bill. 
Bye. Say hi, Bilbo. Oh, he Her name Aww. is not Bilbo. It's butt thrust. <laughs> I love you. Brat. <laughs> She's such a brat, man. Um, she doesn't give love no more. She don't give no lovey love. So, I got that. Now, I love the fur. I love the fur. I love making my dolls out of it. Um, and they had it on sale. So, it's Go For Faux Sparkle. And the original price is $6.99. And it was reduced to $1.74. And it is a super bulky six. And has 56 um, yards in it. Oh, and that is actually pretty close to the color. It's like a mauve. Like, mauve? Yeah, I think it's mauve. Oh, no. <laughs> China. It's just got a kuma a color for you. Well, it's, got it's like blowing out. <laughs> but, oh, uh, I got one, two... Three. I might have more than that. So far, three in this bag. But I'm so, I just love it. I use this for a lot of my animals. And I've been wanting to get more colors because all I have is like browns and like speckled. So I really wanted more colors for animals I'm going to create. It's this one. And again, all the same information that I just said um, in the previous one, except for the oh, the name of this one is called Nebula. It's kids. this one is called Galaxy. Oh, and oh, that's actually really true. So it's a blue with gold specks. It does look like Galaxy. Look at that. Like that looks like a loss. Like you're getting lost in one of a um, one of that a black hole. There we go. Oh. I don't know how many I have of these, but ugh. Then this is Yarn B and it's called Snuggle Up Black. This was $3.99 and it was on sale for $0.99. Cents. It is 98 yards, 100% polyester. Uh, the other ones, excuse me, are 100% oh, yeah, polyester as well. So 100% polyester. And super bulky five, which it's not at all. It's, it's really thin. But look, oh, and it's so super soft. It is so soft. I like to pair this with a chunky yarn when I'm doing my animals. And oh, so I got a couple of the blacks. Then there's snuggle up mint. And it's coming out kind of white, but it's. It looks like mint. <laughs> mint so green. Um, uh, snuggle up mink. Oh, cool. That's pretty close. Yeah, that's actually... Oh, so furry. Uh, this is silver fox. That looks really close to it, too. Little whisperers. Then I got go for it. Faux fur uh, and Jupiter. They must be all space things. Well, you can't see the gold, but it's tan or brownish. And it has a whole, like, gold specks all running through. Oh. I'm sorry I can't give you a proper count on how many of each I got. Because they're all mixed up. I didn't get to go to the store because had I gone which I don't want to pick on Mr. Hoots but I would have organized <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. I would have organized the bags a little bit so I know I have a couple of these but this is this girl organizes the cart yeah I do organize the cart when I'm going through like I'll have all the colors and everything organized this is Yarn B Studio 72 and this is Navy I've never used this oh it feels so soft. It's like a tube, but not a tube. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, like thread? It's, no. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. Not twisted. It's like braided. It's blue. It's navy blue. 
145 yards um, acetate acetate 50% acetate and 50% acrylic I'm gonna have to look that up because I don't know what that is but a medium four. Oh, it's so soft I can't wait to work with this because I never used any of this stuff before I have one well I, don't, I have more than one but again studio 72 and this is navy and then this is spice pumpkin spice everything nice <laughs> I love pumpkin spice so I know I have more than these so when we get to it I can say oh look I found it babe can you put those okay I'll see that then can you please put those in there what is it acetate yeah <laughs> she found it for me my manager Without me. Let's read a fact. At Adrian Company. Acetate yarns. Textile fibers made from the cellulose acetate, as in the production of viscose. Vis viscose? The raw material here is cellulose. Textiles made of cellulose acetate fiber look very similar to natural silk. Oh, and are almost as pleasant to touch. I'm telling you it is. It's super soft. <laughs> this is also why acetate yarn is known as artificial silk. Wow. You learn something new every day. You're welcome. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. Sip it on the tea. Tea. <laughs> <coughs> um, oh, babe. I dropped the yarny. Okay. I'm going to have to get more of that because let me tell you what, <coughs> that is super soft. And when he showed it to me, I wasn't interested, but then it was like, it's 90, how much was it? 94 cents? I think it was 94 cents. And, or a dollar something. And I thought, uh, oh no, 90, where's that yarn at? No, oh, 149. A dollar forty nine down from five ninety nine. So at first I was like, uh, and then he was like, it's really soft, and I'm like, okay, get it. And I'm happy that he did. Now I want more. And they had a whole bunch more, so maybe I have to ask him to go out tomorrow and get me some, cause they had all colors. Like they had all colors. They had um really pretty like it was called clay, but it was like a, a light pale pinkish. With like a hint of orangey clay. <laughs> um, I forget what else he kept showing me. Grays, uh, browns. Like he showed me all these colors and I was just like, <laughs> but now I'm on it because I like it. Um, this is called I Love This Cotton and it's super soft, it says, and it is. It was from $3.79 to $0.94. Cents. 100% cotton, um, 153 yards. And it is, the name is River Run. Oh, look how pretty. I am so in love with it. So far, I have two. I think I have more. Wait, there we go. Look how pretty. I do? Oh, he said I only have two of these. But look how pretty. I can mix this with other, because, you know, I love this cotton. And I have other I love this cotton so I can mix it and make top or I don't know anything but this is beautiful I love this I have not yet ran across a, a Hobby Lobby yarn oh that I didn't fully love I guess I could say um I was gonna say what's that called Aca Acabella oh, yeah. is it Acabella I really did like that. At first I was acapella. like, uh, is it acapella? Something, arca, something. But it was it's a thicker and it's really, really pretty. Um, it's a cotton and acrylic mix. It's super soft, but at first it, when you crochet it, it's really heavy. But when you knit it, it's lighter. And so I really love knitting it. Um, shh, please. <laughs> Sometimes when you crochet with a yarn, um, you don't like it, and then if you knit it, you love it, and that's with me sometimes, or vice versa. You knit it, and you're like, ugh, but you crochet with it, you're like, woo, and you know, that's why sometimes when I see yarns at first, I'm like, I don't know about this, and then I get it home, and I fall in love with either way. Alrighty. Oh, 
next bag. So, I am so ecstatic about this. I wanted this and I never got it because it's always like too much. So this is called Brunette Casa and the regular price is $11.99 and it was on sale for $2.99. Um, the color is Gray Cloud. It's a super bulky 6, 78 polyester and 22% acrylic. Look! Is and it has like fluffy with velvet in it. It has yeah, it's fluffy yarn. Then it has like velvet yarn. It has um, oh I know what this is called. Fur? No, not fur. It does have fur in it. Oh. Right here, it has fur mixed into it. Uh, it has all different types of textures into it. This looks like that homespun. That's what I'm trying to say. It looks like the homespun yarn. Oh, and it's, it has it all mixed in. And I love it. And that blanket on the front. I want to make that. Oh, you can't see it. They have the pattern on here. I'm thinking about doing that. That is gorgeous. So, I got, a, I want to say two of these. Oh. Uh, let me get this bag. Aiden, hear me this bag, please. Yes, two of these. Yeah, <sighs> thank you, babe. And two of another color, and this is called same information, and it is uh, turquoise harbor. Look at that! Oh, I just I wish it wasn't so blown out there we go oh I'm just so in love with this it's super super soft but it's like I wonder if that's knitted I don't know if that's knitted that's crochet because I like this one too you can see that blanket can you see that blanket good oh I gotta check my settings I don't know much but I think that's knitted it, it I'm telling you oh I love this I've never fallen in love with a yarn so much as I just did with this one. And it's so weird. All of these yarns in here, I would never have picked. I never liked working with the homespun, ever. I used to do it and it always like bunches up and ooh, it drove me crazy. I used to hate working with fur. I love it now. The blanket yarn, I hated the feel of it. My finger buds changed because I love it all now. <laughs> it's so weird. But, oh, I love this. But, one of these be pretty together, you think? Yeah, that'd be really like, pretty together. Like, that'd be so pretty together. Plus, I got all extra fur. I have tons of blanket yarn, too. You could take that galaxy yarn and make a galaxy bear. Ooh, ooh see, that's what I'm going to do. It's like a Milky Way dress. Ooh, ooh, see, don't give away our secrets. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> oh, I just love this. Oh, I'm so excited. I think they had more... I don't know. I, I'll have to look. Maybe if I feel better tomorrow, I can see if I can go. Because, to be honest with you, I was this close of going to the hospital today. And if you know me, I hate going to the hospitals. It's not my doctors. I'm all for going to my doctor visits, to my, you know, things like that. But to the emergency room, I hate it because you're in there for hours and hours they don't really help you and it's like oh there's a stomach bug going around so it's probably just that and they send you on your way and then they tell you to see your family doctor so i always tell mr hoot like why waste my time going there and risking me catching something and getting even worse off than i am now because sorry fuzzes um like they never do anything, but today I was like, ugh. I seriously told him, I said, I'm going to hop in the shower and hope that it heals me. I don't know why us freaking think rubbing Vicks on you and hopping in the shower heals you. <laughs> but we do. <laughs> and I thought, I'm going to do this, and if I feel better, then I won't go. I didn't feel better, but I just thought, you know what? I'm going to message my doctor because I'd rather see her than go to the ER. 
There we go. Okay. Ran over. So back to the yard. She's fat. Told you. I don't know how much I got, but I got a lot of this fur, which I'm really happy for because I was on Pinterest. Please, guys. I was on Pinterest, um, and I saw these, like, really pretty, like, textile scarves, and they had, like, um, the you know, the regular acrylic running through, and then they had, like, bits of fur here and there, and it looks so cool. So, that's why I was happy to load up on this. Because I thought, oh my goodness, like I want to make those things for the winter and fall. I think they were so cool looking. If I find the picture, like I didn't save it, I should have saved it. But if it pops up again, I'll share it. So, they had tons of baby yarn on sale. Um, this is gorgeous, by the way. Oh, I love this. This is called Baby Bee, and it's My Sweet Love, 94 yards. Uh, the regular price price was $4.99, and it was on sale for $1.24. And, oh, it's coming out white, but it's not. It's like this, yeah, it's this really super light violet and light. Oh, you can kind of see it right here. Here's the blue. Here's the light violet, and then here's like gray, and then the white's running through. Mm, I'm trying to like get to it for you. <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry. I don't know why it's blowing out. Maybe turn this light off, Lisa. Yeah, turn this light off. I'll we'll keep the one light in the front. Can you see it better? No? <laughs> that didn't work? It made it dark. Turn it on, please. I don't know, but it is gorgeous. Um, this is beautiful. I really love this. Then, it does. It does look like a baby unicorn. Then, they had Baby B again. This is called Lots of Dots. Uh, 110 yards. It costs $5.49. They had it on sale for $1.37. And it's 60% acrylic and 40% polymade. This one is. Did I say 100% acrylic? Oh, this is called Lovely Lilac. And 92% acrylic, 8% polymide. The, the, the purpley one. I saw somebody make a gorgeous blanket out of this. She was colorblind. Um. When I think of colorblind, I think you can't see color. You see gray, like black and white, like black and white movies. But no, colorblinds means like yeah, you, see you could, yeah, you see more than one. Like they'll see like greens, or they mix up the colors that they see, or it's different. So that was, I don't want to say cool to learn, but that was interesting to learn. So she was talking to me, and she loved my purse that I had because I crocheted it. And then she was showing me, like we were like chit chatting back and forth and showing each other things we made. And she asked me to help her pick out the yarn. She was looking for this color again, and go help him, please. She was um, looking for this color again, and um, I helped her pick pick it out. And she showed me what she was making. Oh, the way, and it was for uh, a neutral. Like they didn't know the gender of the baby, if it was a boy or a girl. And the way that she did the blanket and the way that it came out, it looked like it could go for both. Like, it did not look more boyish or more girlish. It just looked baby. And it was adorable. And, oh, it's not sh Oh, right there. there. There we go. There we go. A little bit. It's a little bit dark. A little tiny tad bit darker than that. Oh, come on. Don't blow out. There we go. There we go. Yay. Oh, there we go. Look how pretty. Like, yes, it has pinks in it. This is not purple. That is blue. So it has blue and green and then yellows and then it fades to, like, white and then pink stripe here and there. But, like, the pink barely... Yeah, turn down just a little bit. A little bit more. Right there. Okay, good. That's good. There we go. Look at that. Look how pretty. <sighs> So I got a bunch of these. I got them. Um, I don't. Uh, Sandy Crochet Canada. She's gonna be a grandmama. <laughs> um, so I didn't know. I'm like 
You don't understand. I love babies. We love babies around these parts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. There was a baby outside yesterday. I'm here like flipping over babies. Um, Mr. Who's like, man, yeah. it makes you want a baby. I said, no. It makes you want to have a baby for a day and give it back to its mom. Because, <laughs> like, we love babies. And I'm all for... Oops, sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I want to go fix it a little bit and I went overboard. So, I'm all for babies, but passing them on <laughs> but uh i love it i love 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 it love it so and don't get me on shopping because we love baby shopping it around these like parts just up. yes yes just like <laughs> i'm telling you like you can't tell me a baby is about to come because i go crazy so i got these just in case she might see them and say oh i would like that so because there's a tad bit of room in your big old box that I can add a little bit more. <laughs> um, so I got a, a cu I got enough of these to make a blanket or an outfit or whatever. And like I said, oh, you know what? You know what you could do? You could actually dye it. Now I know you're like, oh, it's acrylic. I dyed acrylic, and you dye it on super super low. So it's not high heat, it's just the water is like lukewarm and then you dye it and then you set it out to dry and it does not mat. Um, it came out really perfect. And that was 100% acrylic and that was big twist. So I can't imagine what this would do. This would probably be great, but if you didn't like that pink, you could probably put like a blue on top of it or I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. My mind's going crazy, but let me try to. Now I think we're too dark. But yeah, I got a bunch of those. Then, ooh, I love this. I do have more baby. Let me show you the baby stuff first. Ugh. All right. Yes, please. If you could just pass me the baby on. We talk weird, I know. We crazy, okay, get used to it. Did I tell you the name of that? It's called Yellow Green. Well, okay. <laughs> yellow Green, but yet there's more blue, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Here, there's more baby yarns in here. So this one's really pretty. And I'm all for like, this is really pretty. I know this one's, now this one obviously is a girl, but this one's not. So this one is called Baby Be My Sweet Love. Um, hold on. It was uh, $4.99 and it was on sale for $1.24. 94 yards, 92% acrylic and 8% polyamide. 5% um, bulky. I mean 5% bulky. Bulky number 5 yard. And this is called Blue Green. Now, it has really pretty blues in it. It looks like it has like grays running through it and then like the green and more grays like um charcoaly like a light charcoaly gray like a smoke right like a yeah. smoky like smoky but fire. i thought this would be now you don't have to take it at all but this would be so pretty either bay either bay either that bay <laughs> either baby boy or girl this would make a really pretty coat Look at this. Right there. There we go. Look how beautiful that is. And I'm not for blues or in greens and things like that. But this I saw and I thought, oh my goodness. I know. I love this one. I thought, oh my goodness. And I love this. And you could like do stripes like this with a brown, you know, like really do a cute coat. You know those pea coats, those baby pea coats that are for like boy, boy, girl? Oh, right, Alyssa, those baby pea coats? Oh, that would be so cute. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like the longer coat, and they have like those cute little collars, yeah. and those cute little buttons. You have to look at baby pea coats if you don't know what a pea coat is. Oh my gosh, right away, that. this would be, and it's super soft. And like I said, I have really sensitive skin, especially now. Um, going through things and this is dreamy soft alrighty put this on the side please yeah, that's all your, the baby art you have. this is baby uh, 
B and it's called Lots of Dots. Oh, I only have one of these. And this was... Oh, yes. No, that's oh, different. Oh, that the, this color. This could be a nice little hat or even like a little top. 110 yards. You can mix this with something. 60% um, acrylic. 40% polyamide. Uh, bulky number 5. And it is called Dew Drops. This has orange in it, cream, white, and grays. Oh, come on now. Doing me wrong. <laughs> there we go. Right there. It's a little tad bit brighter. I mean, not even a lot, but right there. Look at that. How pretty is that? Now, again, there's only one skein, but um, I thought this would go really pretty. You can mix this with so many different things. Gray. Ooh, of course, gray, because there's gray in it. And do stripes and a really beautiful sweater out of this. That would be beautiful for a boy or a girl. You could do, like, striping, you know, like this. And then, oh, okay, okay, hear me out. Because my mind just thought about this. You know how they do different color sleeves? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Like, so you like could do floor. this as the sweater part. And then a gray as the sleeves. And then you can even bring in like the orange and put on the sleeves, the stripes. And that would be versatile, right? For a girl or a boy. Oh, I got to make something. <laughs> Let's me stop this video and get crocheting. Uh, I thought that was gorgeous. Now, I know you probably won't want this, Sandy, because it's pink. Um, unless she's having a girl. But this is Baby B, My Sweet Love. Uh, 94 yards, 92% acrylic, 8% polyamide, bulky number 5. $4.99 was the original price. $124 is what I paid. And it's pink. That's the color. And oh, right there. Here's right there. The oh, yes. Okay. You ready for the pea coat? Now, without. Oh, you can't see it. Nope. It's blaring. It's not even that light. It's blaring. Darn it. it turn, turn the oh, can we see that? Wait, you turn it down. There we go. There we go. You can see a little bit. Look at that. No, no, no. Turn that down. Turn that down the whole way. There we go. You see it? Can I make this bigger? Yeah. Oh, right here. Right here. This is it. A pea coat. Look at that. Look how cute. Oh, I love baby. Baby Babies look so cute in pea coats. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, and then, like, if it's a girl... They put like little those little tap shoes on. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You might not like my taste, but babies look adorable in pea coats. Like so cute. But that is what I've envisioned in a pea coat. So this is the pink. Right there. Oh, look at that. It has cream running through it. It has the pinks, different shades. Uh, and it's twisted. So I have like four of these. Oh no. Oh, give me those other ones right there. Okay. They're different colors. I think I only have one of this. Or are they the same? Oh, let me same. see. Let me see. Let me see. Actually, these two are lighter than these two. Okay, this is called pink. Yeah, they're all the same, but yet they look different. Because this is the same color, but look. This one has like... Oh, you can't see. Turn this light up a little bit. Right here, it has like a light shade of green running through. So, that's gorgeous. This, now, this reminds me of like a baby watermelon because it has like light greens running through. Super de duper soft. So, if you don't want this, this is going to be a doll or something because this is soft. <laughs> um, this is $1.37. And original price was five twenty nine. Baby B Sweet yeah. Delight. Yeah. And is it called Naked? I think it's called Naked. I think that's the name of it. Yep, Naked. Three hundred and forty yards. It is fifty per fifty four percent acrylic, 
36% polyamide and 10% rayon and it's a three number uh, light number three and it is beautiful it's like this really cream color and then it has sparkles in it it's not even a glittery sparkle it's just like a metallic thread running through well, we'll wait till she comes out and turn the light on so you can see because she ran upstairs real quick let me try to fix this up real quick give me one second alrighty so let's see can you see it now no of course not a little bit right there it's blowing it out like big time and if I turn this light off it gets let's see if it comes over this way turn this light off it's t right there we go a little bit there you go you can see the little shimmer shimmer I love it and it's super duper soft so that was a dollar thirty-seven. Then I got a bunch of these, and these are called cozy toes. This feels like a squishy, like, oh, like you could just like squish it. <laughs> like you have to feel this. This <laughs> is so squishy. Um, this is a super fine number two, which right up my alley. I love fine yarns. Uh, two hundred and ten yards, ninety-three percent acrylic. 7% polyester and the color is called Stormy Summer and look at that oh that, that knot's coming out pretty darn true look how gorgeous that is look at this can you see the color oh the light a little bit there we go look at the coloring of how it comes out when it's like worked up so I got one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. You only got eight. No, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten of these. So, and they're two hundred and ten. Hold on, let me do this. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Ten. Is that 2,000? <laughs> right? Is that 2,000? 200 times 10? So I'm going to say, yeah, 210 times 10. I'm so bad at math. Like 210? 210, 210 times, times 10. 10 equals 2,100. 2,100. So I could do a top. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I get too crazy. You don't understand how excited I am. Um, I love this. Then, oh no, this is the same one. I have it, this color, and this color is the same everything. Mermaid Eyes. Uh, paid one twenty four for this, for all of them. Well, not for all of them, but for a scheme. And they're four ninety nine regular. Mermaid Eyes. And that's coming out pretty darn true. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And then look Everybody how eyes. how it comes worked up. That would be a cool hat. I'm going to have to knit a hat out of that. Like a beanie. Mr. Who loves beanies. And he always has me making him the beanies. So I'll have to make him a beanie on this. Knit a needle size 2. I'm going to have to do that. I'll get started so that way I'll have some beanies for him for the winter because this is gorgeous man I love this I have one two three four five six seven of these and they have more so I might get like I said I might have to go and get some more you can't beat that and if you don't like the thinner yarn you can always pair them up because I'm telling you that make a gorgeous hat like oh you could really like put three of them together little oh look how pretty that looks doesn't that look like I don't even like rainbow bright no not rainbow bright these are frank oh this is me in a ball of skiing <laughs> alrighty now give me a second let me put all this off my lap into the bag and then I'll bring the last bag over Yep, alrighty, I'm back. So, 
uh, I love the ice, Lion Brand ice cream. This is Lion Brand ice cream. It is 394 yards. The color bunny tracks. Hold on. This cotton, this cotton. This is cotton candy, the color. It doesn't say the price how much it was. Is that one? This one says. $1.49. Yeah, but it doesn't say how much it used to be? $5.99. It used to be $5.99 down to $1.49. It is a super light 3 and 100% acrylic. And that is definitely cotton candy. I love, love, love this. That would make a cute unicorn. It would. It would definitely make something cute or something pretty. Do I have only one of those? I think so. Okay. This one is called Bunny Tracks. All the same information on it from the last one. The 394 yards, not yet. Uh, super light 3, 100% acrylic. And again, this is called Bunny Tracks. Look how pretty that is. That has like um, light greens and blues and yellow. That's really pretty. It looks like a um, a rainbow sherbet, right? It really does. I got two of those. I got two of these. This I love, and I was so happy that they actually started the deal. So Sugar Whale, Yarn yeah. B Sugar Whale, they have a cotton um, cotton cakes. Well, the cotton cakes came in like a um, a variegated, like a mixed colors like the, it would be blue light blue and then dark blue and darker blue like you know mixed then they started coming out with solid colors which i was so happy for now i know there's the yarn uh i love this cotton cotton yarn but i don't know which one's softer i really don't they're both so luscious so soft definitely not your kitchen cotton this is more for wearables um if you're making like a sweater uh, uh, anything wearable. This is more for that than um, a wa like a dish rag. It could be for a washcloth. Uh, that would be nice because you don't want your washcloths to be rough. So again, this is Yarn B Sugar Rail Cotton Solids. Regular price five ninety nine, and I paid one forty nine. It is the name Bluebell Hillside. It has 335 yards in it. A number three light, which it's a little bit thicker than a number three, I would say. And don't I sound professional saying that? <laughs> um, and 100% uh, cotton. And this is the color. Look at that. And it's a little bit darker. It's coming out bright neon blue, but it's, it's well, I thought if I flipped it over it. <laughs> But no, it's darker, a little darker than that. Not as dark as this, but darker. But oh, and it is super soft. I love, this is not the type of yarn you would want to use for purses at all. It's really, um, Careful. not, no, 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 no. It knits up and crochets like a dream. To me no, anyway. I mean, um, not terrible. I want to say flimsy. Like when you're knitting a bag, you want that bag to be sturdy. This gives you like a loose material. And so, which is perfect for uh, like a top. So I got how many of those? Four. I have four of those. Two of these. Two of these. And it's all the same information uh, except the name is just turquoise. Wow, that's really bright. And that's actually coming out pretty close. And that's, well, it's a, maybe a tad bit darker, but turquoise. Oh, so squishy, but super soft. I'm telling you, super soft. I truly can't decide which is softer. The I love this, this cotton one, or so. this. Thundered or lightning? lightning. <laughs> <laughs> she saw a flash. It thundered. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I can't tell you. I really can't. But I'm so, so happy they came out with solids. Because, like I said, they had, like, the mixed cakes. 
And I was always like pulling the part to get the solid color, so. This is minty, but it should be called mint chocolate chip. Yeah, well, it doesn't have black in it, so. But it's like this is called green. mint tea. Or, pistach or pistach pistachio. And a, oh, yes, pistachio. Um, again, yarn bee, sugar roll cotton, all the same uh, details on it. And this is mint green. It's coming out, again, like, this. it's looking more like seafoam. But like a pre, uh, but no, it's more yeah. pistachio. Like uh, I can't even do it. Well, none of it works. Vogue. <laughs> I don't know Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but uh, I didn't. I love the love, 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 love this. Well, how many do I have of those? I think two. Oh yeah, this is the navy. This is what I showed you earlier. I told you I didn't know how many I had. This is the Studio 72 Navy. Love, love, love this. How many do I have of these? I think two, too. I love this. I cannot wait to make something from this. This is Yarn B. For the love. It's called Iced Cranberry. It has 37 yarns in it, but... You know me and my fur, I like to pull the strands apart. So when you pull the strands apart, you get more for your buck. Um, regular price, $10. I paid $2.49, and this is 100% polyester, a super bulky six. Oh, look at that. And this is actually coming out pretty good. Right there. Oh, I love this. This will go really pretty with that, um, that mauve color I said. Where is that at? I think it's in here. Right here. I found it. Look how pretty that would go. Oh, look, Lissa. That would be really pretty. Oh. That would be so pretty together. And this one has, oh, there we go. You see the sparkle. This one has the sparkle in it. Oh. That would be so pretty. Or a panda. She's here thinking animals, and I'm here thinking, like, I need one of those Russian fur hats. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh. Oh, that would be you know, so oh, cute. I love I those hats. I, those I would so, so wear cute. one. Oh. That's what I'm saying. And then, like, a cow with it, too. You want to be able to tell me nothing this winter. <laughs> I would go out the door warmers. like, hello. <laughs> oh, I hurt my back when I did that. Oh, that hurt. Is that everything? Oh, yeah, no, I got that one. Takes a uh, 4.5 mm needle. How many do I have of these? Two. So this is Yarn B Soft S Secret Ombre. It's called Sea Breeze. It has 199 yards. Um, original price was 4.49, and the price that I paid was 124. I have two of these. It's a medium four, and I said 100% acrylic and 199 yards. So, look at that. And that kind of goes with the um, I Love This Cotton. So, I could put the two together. Ooh, the mermaid eyes? No, not the mermaid eyes. The I Love This Cotton. Where's that at? Or right here. Ugh. Look. They look exactly the color. Yeah, it does, right? It kind of goes. I mean, it's a little bit, this one's a little bit shinier, but that might work. I'll have to see that, right? You think? Yeah, because the eyelash kind of matte. That one's shiny. I'll have to see, like, make a little... I'll have to do, like, a little... Patch. Yeah, a little patch up. See how it works out. But I think that almost looks good. Because that would give, like, a different look to a, a top. See? Think outside the box. You might look at this and think, well, there are two different yarns. Yeah. Two different... One's matte, one shimmer. Yeah. But... Sil silky one's... But, please go see what he's doing. This would give a cool, like, stripe effect to a top. Like, I don't know. I'm envisioning it. Like, wouldn't that look cool? Or even, like, a shawl. Ooh, that would look really pretty, too, as a shawl. Ooh. Huh. See, my wheels get turning. I don't know. I'm just thinking that that would look so pretty together. Yeah, it's two different styles of a yarn, but it would give, like, dimension, I think. 
like a cool different look. Like you would look like, is that shiny or is it? Yo, <laughs> you know? Sneaking up on me. I like it. I think I'm gonna give it a go. I, it might not look right, but like I said, I'll swap it. Uh, do a little swatch and see how it looks. Um, that's it. That is all I have, and I'm so excited with what I do have. Um, yeah, I'm super, super, super happy with. Sorry, had to turn you. Super, super, super excited with what I got. I think I'm most excited for this. I love this. I really want to make something fancy, like a really pretty blanket. I really love this one. I'm going to see how many I need. Because if I have to get more, I shall do it. But like I said, I have tons of fur and other yarns that I can mix and create this, you know, and uh, put them together to make something pretty. I'm just so in love with that. I just think that is like, I don't know why. I just drawn to it. <laughs> like, wow. And it's so not even my color. Like, I love all types of colors. But... I don't know like if I go to the store that's not one of the first colors I go for and all of a sudden like I'm like oh that's so pretty and I love it I wonder what a knitted what it would look up knitted because when I see this I'm thinking like how cool would that be like a knitted sweater like to give you different looks I wonder what that would look like or if it would be itchy I don't know what I got an out joke <laughs> you got it an owl joke. Hold mm -hmm. on. We'll see the owl joke at the end. So, I don't know. I'm thinking what I want to do, but I'm really loving this. I think it's gorgeous. The different colors and the textures in it and just everything. Oh, and it's so soft. Maybe a pillow. <laughs> you see, I'm thinking of all types of things. So, that is all I have for today. I really hope you like my yarn haul. I'm so excited that I actually got to... um like, I didn't get to go to the actual store, but I was there through FaceTime with the hubs. Um, getting dizzy because I was like, whoa, you're moving the camera so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I can confirm that it happened. Yeah, she she can concur. Confirm. I said concur, though. I concur. Um, and then I was like, you really got to dig. Because here's the thing. You'll see a section and it'll be all red ticket labeled and then there'll be no red tickets and then all of a sudden there'll be like one row of yarns red tickets. So you have to like dig through and see and then all of a sudden you'll dig through and there'll be like a whole bunch of skeins not red labeled and then one or two red labeled. And he goes, why is it? And I said, I don't know. I think it's the, something with the, the lady told me like something with the new labels or something that they switch out the labels. So all the old labels or something like that. I don't know. I don't care. It's on sale. <laughs> so I was telling him, you really have to dig. And when he dug, I found more. So, yes. Come on, right? Okay, hold on. I'm going to okay? Tell me quick. All right, hold on, baby. So, um, uh, yeah, that's all. Alrighty, little hoot. Well, my princess hoot has something to say. What is it? What do you call an owl escapeologist? An owl escapeologist? Yeah. What do you call an owl escapeologist? Uh. Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got, I got oh my goodness, more. hold on, hold on. Uh, Houdini. Oh my goodness, that is too cute. Now, save it. Every day we're gonna, when okay. I come on, we're gonna do the joke of the day. Okay. Oh my goodness, that is 36. too cute. Save it. That is too cute. What do you call an owl? Escapeologist. Escapeologist. In... An oh. owl Houdini. A Houdini. Look, look oh my goodness, that is too cute. A Houdini. I love that. Sorry. Oh, Little Hoot wants me to show you his newest Funko Pop. He's almost mm -hmm. finished with his Space Jam mm -hmm. new Legacy, new legacy uh, oh. collection. He got top, oops, Daffy Duck, yep. the but coach. At the bottom, it says as, as coach. coach. Yeah. Today, go we see need, what he's getting into, please. More. So that's what he get into. All right, you have to go see what he's doing. So that is all I have for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, 
Please like and subscribe if you did. Uh, give a thumbs up, please. Uh, thank you so very much for joining in. Um, sorry for the jumbling and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you all had a hooterific day because I sure did. Um, hootin' and out. Bye.